All right, so the next title that I wanted to share, it is actually a card game on GDevelop, and it was one that I was working on. I had actually stopped working on this one to prepare for the 3D game jam, which I didn't even finish. Um, I didn't even get to finish my other, other game for that one. But anyways, um, this is the title that I was working on um, after the Darkness Within that I had did the first FPS and this one is a card game where you get to um, pick different characters and go against other characters so they're um, like little kid characters and chibi characters as you would call them and they go against each other with cards so let's see I got the idea from I believe Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, games like that as well Probably gonna be hard to hear me talk with this plane. Yeah, it's probably gonna be hard for me to um, talk with that playing as loud as it is, but I have to probably adjust that in the settings or something. But yeah, basically, the game is a card game. You pick a character. And you get a set of three guardian cards to pick. And from those three cards, you go against other characters. And you have to um, defeat that other opponent. And the way that um, it works is the cards have special abilities. And you just attack the other character by pressing the button and um, activating the card. And then using it against the other character now i had did two different versions of this because one i did the, the chibi version and then the other build that i had was with the more traditional let's see if this is the right one traditional anime looking version so this one let's see let's go to uh, play arena and i'll show you how this one look as you can see already that the setup is there where you get the main deck and then you have the three card choices right here and then once you go to like if i go to preview the game now and um you can see that they have i have the characters that you can pick and the cards you can pick which are based on the zodiac signs by the way and what you do is you take turns going against each other with your selection and you put the and you, these are not the these are just placeholder designs to get it out I wanted everything to be set up but you click on the left card over here in the main deck towards the left and it'll pull up a card now once it pulls up a card it'll be a specific type of card and you will press that card to activate it once you activate that card it'll activate these cards down here And then it'll allow you to pick one, uh, whichever. I don't think I had it. Yeah. And then you can see from here that it'll give you the ability to do an attack or do something. And if you press it, you select it, you'll be able to attack one of these other cards on the opponent's side. So this is a placeholder. Um, as you know, they're more chibi looking now. Um, but yeah, that was another game that I was working on. I am really thinking about getting this one and making it more or putting it on a 3D plane. Because since GDevelop has announced that they have the 3D functionality, I really am very interested in, you know, making the cars more 3D-ish instead of like, you know, on a 2D plane. I want to be able to make the cars spin and all that stuff. I like cool stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this one as well. I did say in the original video that I was going to finish the other games I did for the jam, but I really want to finish this one because this was the one I was working on before, um, after I finished doing the Darkness Within, and then I moved to this one. This is the one that I really want to go ahead and get done, and now I want to see how it looks on a 3D plane, so um, the title is Z Shuffle, so um, I look forward to getting this one done.
and that was a lot. You just so much hectic getting this one done. Look at all this. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, G Develop was pretty fun. I like the 3D extensions. I'm probably gonna be use. I can use either the built-in 3D or the Babylon extension. But then there's also other extensions like GDD, and then there's there's like a lot of you know cool extensions with G Develop. So I don't know.